on Saturday, July 31st, 2021, we learned of the unfortunate yet shocking news that Bray Wyatt had been released from Vince McMahon's wrestling powerhouse, WWE. The reason that this specific release was so shocking to so many was due to the fact that Bray Wyatt was one of WWE's highest merchandise sellers, and since he debuted his Fiend gimmick in 2019, his merchandise sales reached new heights in what seemed like a home run for the promotion. However, in just months, the company managed to completely ruin the gimmick, which Wyatt had taken years preparing, and despite efforts from certain members of the creative team to save it, it sadly never got back the momentum that it needed. However, today I'm not sure to talk about how WWE should have booked Bray Wyatt, but instead going to talk about what he can do now that he has left the promotion. Welcome to How to Book Bray Wyatt in AEW. The show sucked. Absolutely terrible show. And maybe this company will be better after Vince McMahon's dead. But there will go, you know, this is the way things are, and I don't give a shit what your opinion is. I'm hardly a sympathetic individual. It's like, I got no respect for you. Vince is shaking things up. Nothing happens. Vince Russo has stooged himself off again. Before I start, let's get a few things out of the way. The first of which is that this is, of course, just fantasy bucking. And as of this time, there's been no clear indication that Bray White will indeed be signing with Tony Khan's All Elite Wrestling promotion. The second presumption is that Bray Wyatt has found a way to go negotiate out of his 90 day no compete clause which is something that multiple stars including Chelsea Green have been able to find their way out of in recent months. The third and final presumption is that Bray Wyatt will now be going by his real name Windham Rotunda in AW which yes is one hell of a badass name. Our booking begins on this Wednesday's edition of AEW Dynamite, which is being dubbed the Homecoming Special, as the company returns to what has become their home venue now, Daly's Place, for the first time in almost a month. Last week at Fight for the Fallen, Hammond Page and the Dark Order lost to the Super Elite, meaning that Hangman lost his number one contender spot and was no longer next in line for a shot at Kenny Omega's AEW Championship. The fact that Hangman Page lost this opportunity made it crystal clear that AEW wanted to hold off on giving Page the World Championship and have no plans to give him the match against Kenny Omega at this year's All Out Pay Per View. As a result of this, Hammond Page is once again left in limbo with no clear direction about what is next for him. In typical AEW fashion, in the build up to Dynamite during the week, they announced that Hammond Page will be interviewed by Tony Schiavone live on this week's edition of AEW Dynamite Homecoming. Throughout the night during the episode, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Excalibur hype up the interview of Hammond Page as the AEW faithful eagerly await to see what is next for their favourite cowboy. Just before the main event, Hangman is accompanied to the ring by the Dark Order and comes out for his interview. Hangman speaks about why he will not give up on the AEW Championship and that while Kenny Omega have may have gotten rid of him for now, he will be back. He will also want to warn the Young Bucks of the inevitable threat to their tag team championships from the Dark Order as the returning John Silver is now more hungry than ever for gold. However, then out of nowhere, the lights go out, and by this point, it is dark in Daly's place, so it is pitch black. A video comes on the Titantron of a dark screen with one small firefly buzzing around, creating a small but visible light source, before a hand comes out of nowhere wearing a glove and squashes it, leaving the screen pitch black. The camera will then cut back to the ring, where we will see Hangman and the Dark Order looking visibly confused before the segment comes to a close. The next week on Dynamite, the Dark Order are interviewed on their own without Hangman Page by Alex Marvez, where they will reveal that tonight, due to other commitments, Hangman was unable to make the show. And the wingmen will then walk into the interview and comment on how unprofessional it is that Hangman hasn't shown up yet, and will claim that it's because he's been too busy day drinking. Brian Nemeth will then go on to reveal that Tony Khan has just booked that JD Drake will be taking on Hangman Page this Friday on the debut episode of AEW Rampage. As the wingmen leave, Peter Avalon will say that while the wingmen are helping JD Drake prepare for his match, the Dark Order are seemingly too busy writing love notes to each other. 
Once they have left, John Silver asks the others what Peter meant by a love note before Alex Reynolds locks on the table to the side of him and sees a heart-shaped letter. The camera then zooms in on the note which reads, Don't run with the cowboy, follow the darkness, kiss kiss, WR. The Dark Order will then ask themselves, who is WR? John Silver then blasts out with, Wait, William Regal is all elite? Before Evil Uno reminds him that he has duties elsewhere and the segment ends. On the debut episode of AEW Rampage, Hammond Page will comfortably defeat JD Drake in a fairly short match while the Dark Order are at ringside. However, during the encounter, the wingmen will get involved leading to the Dark Order taking them out and fighting them into the backstage area, meaning that once Hangman has won the contest, he is alone in the ring. The lights then briefly go out before they come back on with the cameras zooming in on Hangman Page with Windham Rotunda standing behind him laughing before his face quickly turns serious as he takes out Page with a mandible claw. Rotunda will then slowly stand back up and a spotlight will hit him as he raises one glove which will say join while he raises his other hand to make the Dark Order hand sign which shows that he has us written on the palm of his other hand meaning that together the two gloves read out join us. On the August 18th edition of AEW Dynamite, Hammond Page will come down to the ring along with the Dark Order for an interview with Tony Schiovanni. Page will then go on to say that he's not buying into these mind games and while at Rotunda's old home he may have been able to get away with using some of these overproduced fake supernatural powers that doesn't go down in all elite wrestling. Rotunda will then come on the Titan Tron and cut his first promo in AW. And as far as promos will go, Rotunda's new gimmick will be a, a mix of the sick, twisted, overly positive humour from Firefly Bray gimmick, along with the intelligence and creepiness from his Eater of Worlds character. As for the in ring work, Rotunda would have the aggressiveness from the Fiend gimmick, but of course without the early kickouts. Rotunda will then go on to point out how the Dark Order have lost their motives since teaming alongside Hangman and how instead of being the force that the late great Brody Lee wanted them to be, they've instead shriveled up into the shadows of their cowboy. Hangman then tells him to shut up and that if he wants to prove to the Dark Order he's better than him, he should come down to the ring right now and fight him man to man. Rotunda then replies telling Pete that that time will indeed come, but for now he needs to be patient. Over the next two weeks, Hangman continues to demand that Rotunda comes down to the ring to fight him, but gets no reply. During this time, the Dark Order will be interviewed backstage and each week they will find more notes from Rotunda attempting to convince them to join him, including a message guilt tripping them saying it's what Brody would have wanted. It then gets announced that at All Out, Hangman Page will face an opponent of Rotunda's choosing and that if Hangman wins that match, he will then face Rotunda at a later date. Going into All Out, the speculation will be that this surprise opponent is Braun Strowman. However, due to the fact that he will obviously lose the page, this isn't quite the time to debut someone on the wages that Strowman would require. It turns out that the surprise debut is actually Eric Redbeard, who gets beaten by Hangman Page in a match which gives both men a good showing, but of course, Hangman walks out with the win. On the post pay per view episode of Dynamite, it is announced that the match between Hangman and Rotunda will take place at AW's New York show at the Arsha Ash Stadium on September 22nd. In the lead up to the match, Rotunda continues with his pre recorded promos, trying to get in the head of Hangman Page, while also trying to get in the heads of the Dark Order, making them believe that they really do need a change in direction. September 22nd eventually arrived with the 18,000 fans in attendance excited to see Windham Rotunda perform for the first time in nearly six months as he takes on fan favourite Hangman Page. The encounter ends up being extremely physical with Rotunda being in clear control for the vast majority of the match. However, against all odds, Hangman actually gets back into the match and hits the dead eye on Rotunda before he goes to set up the buckshot lariat but suddenly, Page's luck runs out. As he is standing on the apron, preparing to hit his finishing manoeuvre, the referee is distracted as he is checking on the status of Rotunda after taking the Deadeye. However, out of nowhere, someone grabs the leg of Hangman, but despite what you may presume, it isn't Redbeard as he was taken out by the Cowboy earlier on in the match. 
but instead it's the one man you would have never guessed. The prodigy of Brody Lee, John Silver. After he pulls Hyman off the apron, Silver stared into his eyes almost with a look of regret on his face. But the decision had already been made. Evil Uno then takes out Paige from behind and rolls him back in the ring, leading to Rotunda finishing him off and getting the victory. The Dark Order will then stand alongside Rotunda and Redbeard as the lights go off. Fans will presume that this is them simply leaving the ring in a creepy fashion, but instead the final countdown song will hit before Brian Danielson shockingly comes down and walks down to the ring. He will then stare off with Wintan Rotunda as the show goes off the air. This will sum up the story of Rotunda's career. Every time he gets a big moment, it quickly gets taken away from him and he has to put someone over. However, this time it will be different. Danielson will take on Silver, Ten, and Eric Redbeard on his journey to facing Rotunda at full gear. However, at the show, Rotunda will shockingly defeat Brian in less than 10 minutes, cleanly. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Brian Danielson is buried! And my answer to that is no, just no. It's ridiculously hard to bury a babyface, and in this case, Brian has undoubtedly not been. He is simply just put over Rotunda in the same way Rotunda put him over in the WWE. Brian can then slowly build himself back up in AEW and in the process ensure that fans don't turn on him. However, due to the fact that Bray squashed AEW's new toy, Brian Danielson, any fan who was still rooting for him has now hopefully turned on him as the Dark Order continue on their rise and their new leadership to become in the one true Dark Force in all elite wrestling. From here, alongside the Dark Order, Rotunda continues to be dominant and climb up the ranks and would eventually go on to win the TNT Championship and have a long reign with the belt. There are so many paths you could go on from here, perhaps adding Braun Strowman or Boot Dallas to the stable before having them turn on Rotunda. Or you could even have John Silver come to the realization that he made the wrong decision to turn on Hammond Page, and instead he will turn on Rotunda and go on to win the TNT Championship. However, this video is already long enough, so for now I'll leave it at this. If you have gotten this far, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would appreciate it if you could share the video, like, and subscribe, and go ahead and comment how you would buck Rotunda in AEW below. Thank you.